everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the report for Tuesday, December 31st, 2019. New Year's Eve is here, and we've got a free pick coming up in college football for Tuesday slate in just a moment. Uh, first, a couple of the quick notes. Yesterday, we had one play in college football. We cashed. I'd like to see an e say an easy one, but it cashed nonetheless, and the money still counts the same, and that was on Western Michigan, who blew opportunities down the stretch. I don't know if you happen to see any of that game, but in the late stages, you had a quarterback stumbling over his own feet. You had missed opportunities by Western Mish on fourth down. I'm thinking, boy, let's not get burned if this game goes to overtime. And fortunately, due to another Western Michigan mistake on defense, having 12 men on the field, we were able to uh, set up for a field goal with the other side, Western Kentucky, which put us in the win column with Western Michigan plus three and a half. So nice five unit winner yesterday there in football. In fact, that was our biggest play on Monday in any sport was the five unit play on Western Michigan. Uh, this week in football, here's what we've done. We've had a seven unit winner We've had a six, oh, seven unit winner was last Thursday afternoon, by the way, on La Tech. We had a six unit winner in the NFL on the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, we had this five unit winner on Monday with Western Michigan. The one blemish was a top play on Iowa State, and they were really never in the game after the opening kickoff, and uh, that really stunk, obviously. But just since Thursday, three and one with plays rented five units or higher, and we're going to rack it up and we're going to do it again on Tuesday. I've got one premium pick in college basketball, college basketball college football on Tuesday's card on New Year's Eve. One pick, one premium pick, and it's available over at DocSports.com. Right now as we speak, two plays and all left to go in this week's college football package. I've got the game today on Tuesday. I've got a game on New Year's Eve. You get them both in the same package right now at DocSports.com. And again, uh, we're going to look to cash again uh, with both of these plays, including today's winner in the Bulls. It is a side, as is Wednesday's play in the Bulls, also a side. As far as everything else, college basketball split yesterday, but we're 8-2, and two, 80% the last 10 days with our college basketball plays at DocSports.com. So the numbers have fallen into place. They're working well. And I am involved in college basketball. It'll be available on Tuesday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. NBA, NHL at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday at DocSports.com. Hey, listen, a lot of you have asked about, you know, just me being in Vegas for a long time. Those of you who know me by now uh, by swapping stories and just getting to know each other on social media, and also those of you who are kind of new to following my videos, and I've been told by people who know me well and people who haven't, when they heard I've been here for 35 years, I came here when I was 17 years old, about, man, tell, tell some stories about the old days and the 80s and the 90s and when Vegas was just a different ambiance and atmosphere. And I'm going to do that. It won't be on today's video because I don't want to go 15, 20 minutes on this video, but we'll give you a fair warning. We'll tell you a couple of days in advance because I got some great New Year's Eve stories from the 80s. Uh, I don't know how we survived some of them, but uh, we'll talk about that. We'll also talk about my music experience. Yeah, I was on stage a few times back in the day uh, in Las Vegas, mid 80s, late 80s, and uh, played the sax and uh, also a lot of vocal work uh, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we'll talk about those days. Kind of funny, I think you'll find them amusing. But we'll talk about that down the road in a couple of days when there's not much going on, probably in between playoff games in the NFL. So let's get to it. You know what I got going on for Tuesday as far as premier picks are uh, involved. Uh, the free pick today, we guys, we're going to back Wyoming. We're going to lay the points here. First of all, I love the Wyoming coaching staff, and I don't think this layoff, this time off is going to affect them at all. Craig Bowles, a great coach. He was when he was at uh, North Dakota State. He's been great here. Fantastic assistant in his days at Nebraska. They're going to be well prepared for this game as far as I'm concerned, for Georgia State. And you got Georgia State, who's really hamstrung. Now, they had a quarterback, by the way, in case you hadn't heard, who was playing several weeks down the stretch with a torn ACL, ACL injury. And uh, it's taken away a little bit from what he was able to do with this game because he was the kind of quarterback who, if things were breaking down in the pocket, he could certainly pull the ball down and take off with it and also ran with the football on, played, on calm plays on offense. So uh, it's a situation where all of a sudden he goes from like 67 rushes rushing yards per game uh, to virtually zero. I mean, it's just been that bad for him at quarterback, and you understand why. Tough kid, no doubt about it. But we think Craig Bowles is going to have his defense prep for everything that Georgia State can throw at them. Uh, I don't like Georgia State's average numbers as far as, you know, yards versus opponents throughout the course of the season. Uh, Wyoming's are a little bit better, and we're going to we're gonna recommend a play on Wyoming minus the points on Tuesday. So that is the free pick, the Wyoming Cowboys in bowl action on Tuesday. Don't forget about what we got going on Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, we've got uh, college football, two more plays to go on this week's uh, package, which includes 
uh, this game on Tuesday and then another game on Wednesday. We've got college basketball, NBA, and NHL all going on Tuesday's card over at DocSports.com. By the way, college, and foot, college football in the NFL, we're now up uh, over 60% going back over 10 weeks now. And you're talking about almost 80 plays uh, in this sample size. So you can see it's a pretty big sample size at that uh, where we've been winning quite well. College basketball told you numbers coming around eight and two the last 10 days. Let's keep it going on Tuesday. Hey, listen, have a great New Year's Eve. Play hard, but play safe. Have a great time. And uh, let's put Tuesday in the win column. Want to wish everybody a happy new year. I will be here, believe it or not, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on New Year's Day. And uh, we're going to actually try to get that out even earlier, like late afternoon, early evening on New Year's Eve because we got some plans ourselves, as you should when you're in Las Vegas, right? All right, let's put Tuesday in the win column. We'll talk to you Wednesday morning. Have a great New Year's Eve and New Year's Day.